Okay, welcome back. So let's move now. Here we have the previous case. So this was the same modeler. So let me rename here. Let me call it design modeler. And see that by default, the end design modeler. And we want to create a new geometry here. So in this case, let me rename. We'll call it the space clean, which is the new tool. So see that by default, remember, pr propose this one, the space clean, but if you want to use something else, just pick it all the design model. Also, you can import geometries, okay? So let's open with new space clean geometry, okay? So this one uh, is a great software. I really like it to prepare geometries, repair geometries. Okay. However, the, 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 the thing that is missing is to ha is having a, a strong parametrization like in design model or some other advanced CAD software. Uh, so what we have here is the main window. Okay. So see here that you can plan view normal to screen and as you press this when you go to the 3D window design. Okay. So there are many options and I'm going to show you just the most important ones. So here you should, it's using by default, the default tool, you no, know, the pool tool. So you press escape, you are outside that tool. And let me show you here that you have a sketch to do sketches like in the same model and design here is where you design the, your solid. Okay. So basically everything resource to, to one tool pull tool. This is a very important. It's a, it's a beautiful tool. I really like it. Okay. And then you have some other extra tools here, but we're going to focus in this one. So like in the same model, you can draw on a sketch, you choose your plane. So I will, I like to use here a sketch mode. Then you hover and you can choose the reference plane and planes. Now these are the initial planes and remember that then you can create support planes. So I will sketch in this one. Okay, normal to screen, and we want to do the classical pie. So see that you have many options here. You put the circle, and there you have it. Okay, uh, as you select here and press the lead, you erase it. Okay, you can choose move there. Then you have constraints also here. So just to show, you put it there, and then let me constrain, concentric this with this, and they put it concentric there. Okay, like in the same model, it's the same concept. So I put it here. Sorry, it's this one. And see that here you have in the, the, the dimension. So you can also input the dimension there. Okay, so go to your click uh, keyword and you put it there. So in this case it's 100 millimeters. So by default it's millimeters, you can change it to meters. It's somewhere in preferences. I'm not going to spend time there. So we have this, okay? Uh, something that uh, here you have dimensions. Okay. So you can add dimensions also here. Okay. So see here that you can also modify it. the problem is that this is not persistent. Okay. As soon as you get out of this sketching mode, this dimension is, is, you don't have it anymore. It's like, it's possible to have it, but it's something a little bit more advanced. I'm not going into details. Okay. But if you don't need it using a space screen, you are going to see later why. So you see that you can add it here so you can create your complicated sketches and put all the dimensions and control everything. So we're happy with this and see that you get out and you have there a surface. So what we need to do now is distribution. So I remember, you know, I press escape to get out of that tool. And here in design, you have the tools you see enabled. So this is very important, the pool. It's a universal tool. So you select the face, pool. It's a very nice concept. And you can do the same with this and see that you can adjust the the diameter and you can select in the edge and you can add there the chamfer there, the chaff. Okay. So it's very powerful. Okay. I love it, but you're missing a little bit of the, the parametrization. So I just undo. So this is here that you can pull to your dimension and see here that you're pulling. And if you want to me measure here, you have the measure tool, select this face and select this face. Okay, let me measure again here and here. Press control and see here you have the distance between the two faces. So we want to go to to to, to seven thousand millimeters. Okay, so these are things that you, you you don't have that reference. Okay, it can be tricky to put it. Okay, so you go here to pull. See that now it's moving from the previous 
fr fr from the previous year almost a solid phase where you stop. Okay, so it's difficult to measure those seven thousand or three thousand minutes or whatever you want to put. But to do, but it's possible to do that. We have an auction here. So if you select the phase, see that you have this auction here, the ruler. Click the ruler and then select the reference phase or edge or point or whatever. And see that there you have the distance. So now you can go with precision. Okay, so it's, if it is 2000, use the keyboard, 2000. If it is 400, 400. If it is 7000, 7000. And there you have the pi. As you see, much easier than <laughs> than using the same modeler, but requires now to know a little bit how, how it works. And you can select here and see that, okay, you go again this one, you can change the diameter. So we want to stay there with radius of 50, okay, millimeters. And this is our geometry. Since that, for instance, you want to sketch in another phase, okay, like if you do it in the same model, you need to create a new plane, a super, support plane. Here you need to do it. So you select the phase, sketch mode and then you can sketch so let me show you for instance i will sketch this rectangle here then if you want you can add dimensions you have it here so let me go put it for uh, okay here 40 and 40 and then you can also add dimensions like this see that and um, put 40 there also um, for instance, you can do it like this, and let me put now 30 there. Okay, and you add your dimensions in the same way, okay? Very powerful. So now when you are happy, you go back to 3D, and see that now this is a phase. That again, you can push, that you can push in, push out. Okay, so see that I push in, and you can push in up to the this phase, or so you want to do it, like that, so select this one up to, select the face, and then you have the hole there. Undo, and you can do it, you can add material like this. So now you have this, and here you go, structure you have. And for instance, you can set a split that, you know? so you go design and see that you have a split body, single body, use this face, and now you split. So you can erase, if you click there, you will erase that one. If you don't want to erase anything, escape. And see that now you have this and this, okay, two solid. The same idea, to go to machine, you, you need to have one single solid, okay? There is a way around that, but it's uh, bad, it's just, even in the same model, it's just ha have uh, a, si a single solid. Let me hide this. So this was the first auction, pu pushing and pulling. So the other auction, let's do similar to, to design model. You recall it was the revolve. It's something, let's do something similar. Okay, so let me choose a sketch plane. Let me sketch there. Okay. Okay, so I go and see that you put your rectangle. And then, uh, I don't know why it's rotating that, okay, but it doesn't matter. So let, let me go, they, let me give dimensions here. So this one, let's say that, I will say that is 3000. This one, let me say that is 100. Okay, and you have it there. And see that also here, you can go like this, this and this, and I put it, zero and you have it there okay so like the translate that we did previously in the same model so you have this and now you have here the auction you so i want to revolve around this axis this face you do like this see that you have it okay so here you up to or you can just give an angle so i can okay let me do go so let me see that i want to do it 90 degrees so, so that up to, okay, again, axis, face, up to, and I want to do it 130 degrees. You have it there. Okay. Control set. So let's do the whole stuff up to, and you have the whole face. So you see very easy in the same way. So now if you have this one and you want, you want to change the diameter, push in, push out. Okay, so you can put the keyword 50 and then let me extend this face up to 
this face. And you have it there. Okay, same procedure. So now, for instance, you want to, to here you have move tool, you can select. Okay, let me go here and structure back. See that you have all your solids. So I want to move this one and see that you have the triad there. So this triad, okay, you can, okay. You can move, you can give, you can move it using the mouse. Okay, you can rotate, okay. This is, using the mouse or you can use the keyboard and put your dimension there. Okay, so let's see here. Very powerful, okay. So let me do it again and let me move here. So there are many options here because also you can choose move, okay, move in the uh, about the center of mass, move about this face, okay. There are many options that I'm not exploring here, but it's up to you so to, 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 to play around. But see that here we have these two bodies intersecting, and again, you can do the combine, okay. Is the boolean in the same model? So you go here. Control is the boolean. Okay, so see that you have there. So now we mix those two. Uh, for instance, you want to split that body and I want to split with this face. And see that now we have this and this. Very, very powerful, okay? But requires some days. Sometimes it's not very intuitive. There are some, some options that are not, not very intuitive. So here, you have this, okay. Also, you have unlimited undo, so by the way, so you just control C and you can go back. So let me go back to this state, okay. So now let's create the final one, like in, in design modeler, the, the, the swap option. The same way, you need to create a path and then attach a profile to that path. Uh, so let's do like this. So let me sketch here, okay? And I'm going to sketch, so I wake up this dimension and it's spline from here to here. So let me wake up that. And escape. So I have this one and now I want to attach a profile there. So remember that you need to create here, you need to create a support plane. But that is super easy. So I press escape to, to get out of the pool tool and to create a new plane, you go here in design, you have plane. And for instance, in this case, you select this vertex and automatically will know a plane passing through this vertex normal to this line. And you have it there. So now select there, sketch and normal there. And now do whatever you want to do. Okay, so now you can sketch. Let's say that I want to sketch this there. It is attached, you have it. And as you can imagine, you go here, sweep, select the path, select the profile, and then you can push or up to, and it will do the whole stuff. And you have your solid there. Okay. Okay. Let me go back. Okay. Up to, and you have it there. And again, you set it here and you can adjust diameter if you are not happy. So for instance, let's put it 50. Okay. And you can select this face and you can pull this face. Okay. For instance, I can also create a plane in this face. You select that face and remember you have plane there and you have that plane. Okay. So select this one and I would like to pull. See that I extend it, but let's say that I want to split this solid using this plane. You have here a split body. Select the body. Okay, split body, select the body, select the plane. And there you have it. Body one, body two. Okay, and for instance, you want to sketch here. You go a sketch and let me draw a hole there. So see, put it, put it. And then you can select this. pull up to this and you have your face. Okay. So I went a little bit fast, but I leave it here to, you, you know, you can play with these options. You see super, it's super easy. Okay. I think I just covered the most important thing. Okay. But you have many options. So most of the time you're going to stay between these two, but here you have more options. Okay. You can prepare geometries, everything. So just stay. 
uh, caches here, constraints you want to add constraints, and here this is these are the two that you want, you are going to use most of the time. Pull and move. Then here you can combine the boolean and probably divide bodies. Okay, so for us, so see that I created all these bodies, but I don't want to use all of them. I just want to use this one. So like in design model, we need to suppress whatever you you want to use so you select it's not hiding like this okay this one you still will get it you need to select and right click and see here suppress from physics and see that you have the, that symbol there meaning that it has been suppressed okay you hide just to see what you're going to export and this will be the geometry that you are going to 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 export to to the machine tool okay the lines the planes that one is not exported but it's one you can hide so this is this is it okay this is uh, how we work using uh space claim so later we're going to do a, uh, another case a little bit more complicated but you get the idea so this is all for this case so now we close okay so remember every now and then save your project so see here that we have two geometries design model or space claim pretty much the same so the next step is creating the the geometry the, the mesh so we're going to create two types of, of mesh so it doesn't matter which geometry which geometry we use it will be exactly the same the steps okay so that we're going to cover that in the next video so thank you for your attention see you next time bye